There's a volcano in Nicaragua that we used to love to visit where you could walk right up to the top and look in. Sometimes you could see the lava bubbling and you could feel its heat. The indigenous people called it the mouth of hell and they used to sacrifice people in the volcano to their god. That all changed when a bishop came to the area and taught them about Christ. He ended the human sacrifice. To mark the change, he put up a wooden cross over the mouth of the volcano. A replica of that cross can still be seen today. And we love that symbolism because it speaks a powerful truth. The cross of Christ saves us from the mouth of hell. It was true then, and it's true today. That conviction has fueled us through this difficult year. But even though it has been a difficult year, we have seen some pretty amazing signs of God's kingdom continuing to grow. Hey Redeemer, Tony and Amber Ellswick here in Panama City, Panama. We wanted to give you a quick update on what the Lord has been doing this past year and what we're excited about coming up in this following year. In Nicaragua, two of our former students have planted a new church, which is growing. We're really excited about that. I've been able to meet virtually with three of our former students who are going through the process to become ordained as Presbyterian pastors. Uh, on top of that, uh, I just finished my third seminary class, also through Zoom. So there's been a lot of Zoom ministry here, just as in the United States. Our little church has gained an international reach, which is something that's been pretty uh, exciting and surprising to hear, as some of our um, members have reached out to their friends and families in other countries and had them starting to participate. And so on a Sunday morning, it's not unusual to have congregants from three continents and eight different countries attending. It's been really interesting to see how the Lord has used that this year. Yeah, and we have spent about eight months effectively in one of the strictest lockdowns in the world here in Panama. Um, but God has used that in some some significant ways, and we are, we are grateful that we stayed and we were here. One of the women that I have been discipling here who we knew from Nicaragua who moved to Panama, um, contacted me about halfway through the, the, one of the strictest parts and told me that she had COVID, her husband had COVID, their two little boys and their newborn had it. Um, and by God's grace, we were able to get medicines to them because they could not afford even the basic medicine to keep the fever down. Um, and we were able to deliver some groceries and get them through um, the time and now that we have our restrictions have um, gotten lesser we've been able to, to see them and to walk with them a little bit through the rest of this quarantine yeah and one of the really interesting pet fruits of that is that now they're starting a kids ministry and uh, Amber and I have been able to help participate in that uh, I was able to go to the jungle, to La Reserva, uh, a few weeks ago, and that's been really encouraging. We, there's uh, several people there who are excited about uh, taking a baptism class early next year as we move to try to help form a congregation in that community. Also, uh, through a partnership with another missionary, I was able to go and visit a new community, an uh, Embara community called La Bonga. It's an hour and a half a canoe ride down some of the prettiest uh, rivers you've, you've ever been on. And in the end there, we saw a community, Embara. It was really neat. I was able to play for them uh, John chapter 1 in an audio Bible in Embara. I wish you could have seen their faces light up as they heard the Bible in their heart language for the first time. Uh, a man there named Edwin helped show me around the community. And he can't read Spanish, but he has a little uh, audio tool, MP3 player, that he plays the audio Bible on, on it for himself. And so one of the things that we're excited about is to be able to go back and bring him the Embara New Testament in audio for him personally and for the whole church, uh, that they can be able to listen to it in their heart language uh, and grow in God's word and understand that God is their God as well. Hey, you know, it's been a long and difficult year, but we're excited about what God is doing. And we couldn't do any of it without your prayers and your support, your encouragement throughout this year. You guys have been fantastic, and we really do appreciate all your prayers and support as we work to bring more training, more pastors, and more churches to Nicaragua and Panama.